Monsoon is traditionally defined as a seasonal reversing wind accompanied by corresponding changes in precipitation, but is now used to describe seasonal changes in atmospheric circulation and precipitation associated with the symmetric heating of the land and sea. Usually, the term monsoon is used to refer to the rainy phase of a seasonally changing pattern Although, technically, there is also a dry phase. The major monsoon systems of the world consist of the West African and Asia-Australian monsoons. Strength of impact The impact of the monsoon on the local weather is different from place to place. In some places, there is just a likelihood of having a little more or less rain. In other places, Quasi-semi-deserts are turned into vivid green grasslands where all sorts of plants and crops are prosper. The Indian monsoon turns large parts of India from a kind of semi-desert into green lands. Sea photos only take it three months apart in the Western Ghats. In places like this, it is crucial for farmers to have the right timing for putting the seeds on the fields as it is essential to use all the rain that is available for growing crops. Process Monsoons are large scale sea breezes which occur when the temperature on land is significantly warmer or cooler than the temperature on the ocean. These temperature imbalances happen because oceans and land absorb heat in different ways. During warmer months, sunlight hits the surfaces of both land and ocean, but land temperatures rise more quickly. During warmer months, sunlight hits the surface of both land and ocean, but land temperatures rise more quickly. As the land surface becomes warmer, the air above it expands and an area of low pressure develops. Meanwhile, the ocean remains at a lower temperature than the land, and the air above it retains a higher pressure. This difference in pressure causes sea breezes to blow from the ocean to the land, bringing moisture inland. This moisture rises to a higher altitude over land and then it flows back toward the ocean. However, when the air rises and while it is over the land, the air cools. This decreases the air ability to hold water and this causes precipitation over the land. This is why summer monsoons cause so much rain over land. In the colder months, the cycle is reversed. Then the land cools faster than the oceans and the air over the land has higher pressure than air over the ocean. This causes the air over the land to flow to the ocean. When humid air rises over the ocean, it cools and this causes precipitation over the ocean. The cool air then flows towards the land to complete the cycle. Most summer monsoons have a dominant western-like component and a strong tendency to ascend and produce copious amounts of rain because of the condensation of water vapor in the rising air. The intensity and duration, however, are not uniform from year to year. Winter monsoons, by contrast, have a dominant easter-like component and a strong tendency to diverge, subside, and cause drought. Similar rainfall is caused when moist ocean air is lifted up as by mountains, surface heating, convergence at the surface, divergence aloft, or from storm produced outflows at the surface. However, the lifting occurs, the air cools due to expansion in lower pressure, and this produces condensation.